Have you ever sat down in a barber's chair and there's a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you and you just keep going Ew, smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller off into infinity? So that is a virtual mirror. There's not really thousands and thousands of mirrors back there with you getting smaller and smaller and smaller. There's one mirror, two mirror, but where the light meets it forms a virtual mirror and a virtual mirror and a virtual mirror and you just keep getting smaller in the background. Well. The facets of a diamond, there are 57 facets in a traditional modern round brilliant cut diamond. In the older diamonds we had 58 because you had a cubit. Most of our diamonds today no longer have a cubit, they come to a point. So you have 57 facets and if you tilt that diamond through 40 degrees, there may be 180 to 200,000 scintillation events that can be seen because each of these facets that are in the diamond, when they meet in the middle, they create a virtual facets. And some of those virtual facets will be big, some of them will be tiny, some of them will be extra large, and some of them will be so small that they are not discernible to the human eye. Now, in let's say a one carat round brilliant diamond that is totally perfectly cut, you will have maybe three to five very large scintillation events. And that's when the diamond, as you look at it, the very act of looking at it, you obstruct some of the light from coming to the diamond. That creates some dark patterns of facets that are off, and the lights that are coming from the side and everywhere else, those are picking up and those are creating patterns of facets that are on. And as you breathe, as your heart beats, that diamond moves infinitesimally and facets that are on turn off and facets that are off turn on and that's what makes a diamond interesting it sparkles and otherwise we could just put little mirrors in there and go eh, a pimple I thought I outgrew pimples but even more interestingly do you remember when you were a child and you looked at a prism and you saw the rainbow on the wall the light comes in, the prism bends the light, and you get this beautiful rainbow. Well, that's what dispersion in a diamond is. These little flashes of reds and blues and yellows and greens that you see in the diamond, those are dispersion. Well, you're getting a really small bend out of this really small crystal, and one of the things that most people don't realize is that that light has to bend and be wider than the pupil of your eye when it gets to your eye, so if you're up close, you'll see less dispersion than you will off far, and if I was sitting where you are, I'd see even more dispersion because it's had more time to diverge and become more of a fan with that red, yellow, green, whatever the colors are in, in that dispersive ray. A well-cut diamond with proper symmetry has larger virtual facets than a poorly cut diamond with no real symmetry that has a crushed ice look to it. And the importance of that is, is that we have more visual scintillation events. And the larger the event is, the bigger the flashes of white and the more flashes of color because by having that large virtual facet, if the light's bending when it comes out of your diamond, it's going to bend more. And you have a bigger chance of it being wider than the pupil of your eye because if it's narrower than the pupil of your eye, all of the colors of light together are colorless. So that's what we see we see through the air because to us it's colorless because it has no color unless we're looking up at the sky and we see blue or unless it's we're in Los Angeles and then we see gray, you know. But when we see that that flash of color, that's because we have the bigger flashes that are wider than the eye and so we they appear as color. So that's also why we like bigger stones. If you, if you have a one carat stone, you will have more visible scintillation events than you will have in a half carat stone. And when you get a two carat or a three carat or a five carat, then you have even bigger scintillation events and bigger flashes of color. And it's bigger is better in a diamond, man. So that's kind of like the virtual mirrors, only they're at an angle, so the virtual mirrors look different because you're not seeing the same thing get smaller and smaller and smaller into infinity. But you are seeing 
this incredible panorama of big and small events that can be seen in your diamond as you rotate it and look at it from different angles. And even if you try to hold it still, just the fact of your heart is beating, you will see scintillation in the diamond. But it's that on-off of the contrast between on and off and that little tiny movement in that light turning on and off, that's what makes a diamond special. And that's what scintillation is all about.